um, we focus on how uh, stem cells are regulated throughout development and how um, both uh, the developmental progression and um, the metabolism of the animal and the cell itself influence stem cell proliferation and how it decides between proliferating and forming a more differentiated cell. I think so. Uh, we do basic research, but uh, in the long term, what we find in terms of how uh, stem cells are regulated during development uh, will be uh, very important to understand how this happens um, during um, all organisms' development and how misregulation of this process can contribute to diseases. Um, I uh, was very fortunate to get the EMBO installation grant um, and uh, to be um, in, uh, Howard Hughes Medical Institute's international scholar. These will allow me to set up my, my lab. And more recently, um, the European Research Council uh, starting grant that will allow me to fund my research for the next five years. Um, um, it, was, it was fantastic. This is, these are uh, great awards and this will really um, allow me to pursue all my research questions uh, without having to worry about uh, funding. Um, so in the field of uh, stem cells, I think that um, it will change dramatically in 10 years. I think that we will understand much better how uh, stem cell fate uh, is regulated and how this is uh, regulated throughout development. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to manipulate it in vivo so that we can use our own stem cell pools to uh, either regenerate tissues or to uh, make some particular cell type when we need it. I mean, this would be the goal. I think so. I think that uh, public awareness of science is very important um, because this influences the funding that scientists get and it also makes them aware of the, the, the great uh, research and um, the many people that are dedicated to try to answer the questions that will affect them even uh, in the short term or in the long term.